Hi there, it's me, Monica, with Close to My Heart. Here at Close to My Heart, memory keeping is at the heart of everything we do. And today, I wanted to share a little bit about what memory keeping means to me. And I've got some special guests to help me out. Say hi, kids. Hi. hi. This is Jonah, Serena, and Ariana. I brought them to help me highlight an incredible memory keeper, my mother-in-law, Barbara. Jonah, why don't you tell us a little bit more about why you love Grandma Scrapbooks? Because it it represents our dad when he was young, and it also shows that he was very smart, and it showed about his life when he, he was a little kid, and it was a very fascinating thing. It's so fascinating. That's great, Jonah. I love that. Your dad grew up in New Zealand and he loved to play rugby. And now you get to do that too. Isn't that fun to see what dad used to do when he played rugby? Yeah, it is. And how good he was, right? Yeah. And you guys kind of look like twins. So, all right, now I'm going to ask Serena to share a couple of stories that Barbara has given in her scrapbooks and memory books. This is um, a story of Mother's Day after... My grandpa passed away. So um, Barbara's husband passed away early on in their marriage. Um, he was only 42, which is really sad. But because Barbara was such an amazing journal keeper and scrapbooker, we we're able to really connect with him and his story. So tell us about this one. So this story just talks about um, a Mother's Day where my Uncle Jared cooked her breakfast and my dad got her chocolates. And my Uncle Scott got her cologne <laughs> that someone else bought. <laughs> and then, he regifted? Yeah. <laughs> and then my Uncle Jason got up late, but he wanted to make her breakfast too, so the thought was there. <laughs> That's so cool. And so we get to get to know the details of their life and how they grew up in New Zealand and the really fun and just even ordinary things that seemed ordinary probably back in that day, but now mean so much to our family. All right, Ariana, share with us a little bit of what memories you love. All right, so I really love this book about my grandpa, like my mom said. A little while ago, um, he passed away w before I could even have the chance to meet him. Um, but my my grandma kept about everything. And when I was younger, I drew pictures for her. And here's one I drew, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, this is my grandma and me <laughs> with my broken arm and my grandpa, who is an angel and his tombstone. <laughs> So I still thought about him often, which made this book really special to me because he was um, I'm able to read his stories and see the lives that he touched and, and get to know him even though he's still not here. Um, and this is my grandpa when he was in college, and I actually attended this college. Um, Just this last semester, right? Yeah. You, she lived in Hawaii. And how cool that you have that connection to your grandfather. It is really, really cool to see that um, we still have those ties and, and to read his story and just get to know him even though he's not here. When I started working for Close to My Heart and we really delved into scrapbooking, I started my own scrapbooking and I had a lot to catch up on. So here we have this scrapbook and this is my very first Close to My Heart scrapbook, which I love. So this is my son who is now 21 years old. and and. Here's Barbara, my beautiful mother-in-law that we've been talking about. And here I'm telling my story. And you know, for, for me, I didn't want to feel overwhelmed with, with catching up on my scrapbooking. And I didn't give the detail or have the details that Barbara did. But as you can see here, here's my oldest son, Josh. And by showcasing on one layout, preschool, first grade, you know, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, I've covered several years within one layout. And so I did that with Ariana. Look how cute you are. Get <laughs> right there. Again, preschool, kindergarten, first grade. Um, and so there really is no right or wrong way to start journaling and scrapbooking. I love this one. This is Ariana. This is you up to age six and all of your Easters from the time you were three months old to age six in one layout. And so I feel like, you know what? I have accomplished a lot and I've been able to catch up. I particularly wanted to show this one because um, Serena just turned 18 and she's getting ready to graduate high school. And I love this page because it really captures what a fun and funny girl <laughs> she was as a baby. And again, starting at six months and ending at four years in one layout.
So you can see these books are a real treasure for our family. They help us know more about who we are, and they help us to relate to each other better. We've grown closer together as a family because of these books, because the stories and the memories preserved here and having those clo these close relationships has been the greatest blessing of my life. This is why I am so proud of the work that I do with Close to My Heart. I'm so proud that I can work for a company that gives people the tools to preserve their cherished family memories through the art of scrapbooking and stamping. This is why memory keeping matters to me. Thank you so very much.